Hey, it's a wealthy expat here. If you watch my channel, you know that I've moved to Dubai a couple of years ago. I help a lot of my clients move to Dubai, spend some time in Dubai. In this video, let's talk about the best areas in Dubai to live in order to enjoy your life, enjoy the zero tax benefits of this city and overall enjoy your wealth in this amazing place. I've lived in many areas around Dubai. I lived in Dubai downtown when I first moved to Dubai. Then I lived in the marina. Then I lived in JBR, Jumeirah Beach Residences in the Address Beach Resort, which I absolutely love. I will continue to live there during the winters. And also I've lived in the marina again. And I can tell you from living in many places, all around Dubai is that each place has its charm, its pros and its cons. We're gonna discuss them in this video. I haven't lived closer to the desert in the inside of Dubai, what's called the Dubai land, Arabian ranches, Damak lagoons, Damak hills, all these areas that you might be interested in buying property in, in order to have a good appreciation later on. Most of these properties are off plan so that you can buy them now and then receive the key later on and then sell them for a higher price. For me personally, the best area for most individuals that are coming to Dubai, that are wealthy, that want to spend good money, that want to have nice views, that also want to have all the amenities of their home country. For example, they want to have a shopping mall very close by. They don't want to use their car all the time. They want to essentially be connected to other wealthy entrepreneurs and other people that are having a lot of success in life and wanting to grow even more than you might be interested in the Dubai Marina. Personally, for living long term and for being just a regular resident of Dubai that has wealth, that is spending a lot of money and that wants to have very nice quality of life and apartment, in this case apartment, you could get some villas in the marina, but usually they're just apartments. You have the Dubai Marina Mall, which is absolutely giant. You can go to many places, even though there are bigger malls like the Emirates Mall or the Mall of the Emirates or Dubai Mall, which is obviously the giant one, or even Batuta Mall, which is a little bit off Dubai towards Abu Dhabi when you're going towards Abu Dhabi or the Jebel Ali Palm which you'll see here which is the incomplete palm a little bit more far away than Palm Jumeirah personally I think that the marina is the best place that's where most of my clients stay and that's where most of my clients rent apartments they rent long term and they also buy apartments in the marina and you can get really good value for the price that you pay there I've also lived in JBR Jumeirah Beach Residences that personally is my best area for short term rentals. Typically JBR is full of tourists. It is packed with tourists. It is packed with specifically Russian tourists. So you might not like that everybody there is staying short term. In the marina, you'll typically meet people that are actually living and actually residing in Dubai. If you're looking to build a social circle, meet other people, date in Dubai, then the marina might be a better option than JBR just because JBR is much more short term. If you want to have that close beach access in JBR, then obviously that is the best place. I do definitely recommend the Address Beach Resort. I absolutely love that place. It has a gym on the 75th floor and you can get an insane apartment for eight to $12,000 a month, live there or live in some of these new developed towers, not the old ones like Murjan or these old cream towers that have been in Dubai for the last 10, 20 years. Don't live in those, they're pretty old. After the marina, I would say Dubai downtown and Business Bay are two beautiful areas. I would say there, there's no nature, there's no beach, it's just buildings, buildings and hustle. Dubai downtown will definitely push you to make more money. The Dubai mall is there, so if you wanna spend money, you can spend 20, 30 grand a day easily in Dubai mall. Some of my clients, they spend 10, 15K a day in Dubai mall, they rent that Ferrari, they ride it, along the boulevard. Definitely this is the area that attracts the most money, I would say. The most tourists that want to stay in the center, that want to be next to the Burj Khalifa. Business Bay, I personally don't like it. I would say it's a good area for people that are coming up. If you're making quite a lot of money and you want to keep increasing that wealth, you can get really good value apartments in Business Bay. Then we have the Dubai land, which is basically everything surrounding the Arabian ranches, Damak Lagoons, you'll see it here on the screenshots that I'm posting in the video. You also have Al Habtour Polo Resort, which the company that I work with, IFSA, which is the free zone that I work with. They throw a lot of events. I've been there to one of their events. It was absolutely awesome. The area surrounding that, you can buy a lot of villas. You can buy beautiful homes, five bedroom homes with a maid's room and everything for about 2 million all the way up. You can spend there to 100 million dirham. So you can spend all the way from $600,000 all the way to $25 million if you truly want to get an insane villa there. And it's much more secluded than all these other areas. If you want to be away from the tourists, you want to be away from the craziness, you want to be away from the parties, and definitely Dubai land is a good area to explore 
for yourself if you want to, for example, bring your family to Dubai and you want to have that more relaxed, suburban lifestyle. Another area that I will talk about that I absolutely do not like, I know a lot of people like living in this area, I have my office in this area, but I do not recommend living there, is Jumeirah Lakes Towers, JLT. This particular area, I have my office there, and it's really a continuation, you could say, of the marina. It's not connected to the marina, but it's essentially a lake or a couple of lakes with a ton of buildings. I've lived there, I don't like it at all. The water around the building smells a little, it looks kind of green, whereas the marina actually looks like real water because connected to the outside and connected to the beach and everything. I don't really recommend JLT, that's where DMCC, the free zone, is set. If you are working with DMCC, you can obviously get an office there, or even if you're not working with DMCC, you can get an office in JLT, just like I have, and that is one of the best places to have an office because it's connected really closely to everything else. So most people that come to Dubai, they tend to live a little bit far away from JBR just because the prices are really high on JBR. So if you are going to hire people, then JLT is right next to the marina, is right next to Jumeirah Village Circle, which is another area that I'm gonna talk about, and it's also right next to Dubai Land. So a lot of people that are living in these lower expense areas compared to JBR and compared to downtown, they can go and work in your office. And overall for offices, it is the best place in my opinion. Really quick, what area are you most interested in living in? Comment below so I know what my viewers are looking for. The next areas that I personally like, and some of my clients have actually bought property in this area is the Jumeirah Village Circle and Jumeirah Village Triangle. This particular area, specifically JVC, Jumeirah Village Circle, they have a bunch of new apartments that they're building and definitely a great area to appreciate later on. If you buy an apartment now, that area is likely to appreciate in price. There's a lot going on. There is a mall there as well. It is obviously not as developed as the marina or not as developed as these areas closer to the downtown, but definitely if you're looking for a more relaxed, a little bit more secluded than the marina, not that much going on, but a lot of potential in the future, a lot of new buildings, and also more of a natural feel, I would say JVC. It still feels like you're more into the desert than marina does, but there are trees, they're planting a lot of nature over there, so honestly, it does feel like a pretty nice area to live. The next area that I'll talk about, which obviously is extremely popular, you can see it from space, it is the Palm Jumeirah. I personally lived in the Palm Jumeirah one or two months, I would say it's not my preferred place to live, but it is very beautiful. If you want more of a Maldives feeling where you're living on an island or living somewhere away from everything, then I would definitely recommend the outside leaves of the palm. There's a lot of hotels around there. There's the W Hotel, which is absolutely awesome, has a view of the Gulf Sea, and you can see everything out and you are away from the city so you don't feel like you're in a big city with a bunch of cars and a bunch of traffic but you're still 20 or 30 minutes from all the action very close to everything if you choose a place to live here long term i would definitely recommend choosing the head of the palm or at least the trunk of the palm you'll see it here this area you can easily access everything else without going all the way around because if you stay in one of the leaves you might spend 45 minutes, an hour, to drive all the way to downtown. So that is definitely annoying. You have the Atlantis Hotel, which is beautiful, and a lot of places overall that you can definitely enjoy. And the last option that I'll say here is the Jumeirah area. All this Um Suquem, you'll see it around here. It's right next to the Kite Beach, this area where there's a lot of kite. I would say this area is absolutely beautiful. This is one of the best beaches, to be honest. You'll see a lot of natural waves. It looks absolutely awesome. And there's a lot of surfers there as well when the waves are really big. So I would say this area is absolutely beautiful it's mainly owned by locals that area is a lot more peaceful a lot more chilled but be careful because if you step back from the main road the Sheikh Sayed road then you have Al Quos and Al Kail which is absolutely horrible I did my driving license there and I would tell you never go to that area unless you have to go to a medical test or somewhere in that area it's super dusty talking about areas that I don't recommend all over Dubai. I would say Deira would be the first one. Overall, it doesn't feel like Dubai. It's a whole other section next to Dubai, but it definitely does not feel like Dubai. If you want a lot cheaper area and you don't want to spend that much money, maybe you're frugal, you have a lot of money, but you want to invest it, then Bur Dubai, B-U-R Dubai, could be a good area, but again, it's more catered towards lower income people and it's after 
the Burj Khalifa around the Dubai frame, the beautiful frame that you see in a lot of my videos. Any other areas around Dubai, like for example, Sharjah or other Emirates, I would definitely not recommend to live there as a wealthy entrepreneur or wealthy investor. If you have any questions about any of these areas, comment them below. I'm happy to answer anything you have. If you're looking to move to Dubai or at least set up residence in Dubai, pay zero taxes in Dubai, that's exactly what wealthy expat and me help you with. Click that first link in the description, book a one-on-one -on -one call with us to see if we can help you. We'll tell you an exact plan in order to lower your taxes down to zero and recommend the best options for you. Do that right now by clicking the link and booking a free call with us and check out the video that is going to pop up right here about how my client went from 45% tax rate down to zero percent tax rate by moving to Dubai, a Dubai success story. I'm the Wealthy Expat. I'll see you on the next video.